These are the Grousemoor Easter Bunnies, mountain hares. Unlike brown hares and rabbits, mountain hares' coats change colour from brown to white in winter, providing camouflage in the snowy uplands. Here in the UK, they're found in the Peak District and in Scotland. They're native to the Highlands, where they feed largely on heather. But it's not good news if you're a mountain hare, unlucky enough to live on the grouse moors of Scotland. You see, our team filmed this hare being maimed by a gun in the Highlands earlier this year. You can see it desperately trying to escape with a broken leg. Before being finished off some minutes later by a dog, which was released before the gun was even fired. Thankfully, there are some people who stand up for these beautiful animals. We would like to see mountain hare protected. We think they should be protected. They are native species to this country. Unfortunately, the true scale of this killing is little known. The government does not support mass culling uh, of, of these animals at all. What we don't want to see is, is mass culling. Uh, but we do need the evidence, and if you can provide us with actual evidence, and that means the photographs have got to be dated, they've got to be placed, they've got to be, they've got to be giving us the, uh, the really good information that we are able to then use, uh, then certainly we will be looking at, uh, uh, at dealing further uh, with this issue. I've done it before, I'm prepared to do it again, but it's got to work. We've got to know that it's going to work, we've got to be absolutely robust about it working, um, and therefore, I'd be looking for your help in getting the evidence to help us to do that. The scale and coordination of the attacks on mountain hares, witnessed by our team earlier this year, is shocking. The animals are driven towards men with guns by off-road vehicles. As the carcasses are gathered and dropped into trucks, it becomes very apparent that whole mountainsides are being completely cleared of Grousemoor Easter bunnies. We filmed the mass killing of mountain hares in multiple locations on the moorlands of Scotland over a three week period earlier this year. The hare killers argue that what they're doing can improve red grouse numbers, but there is no evidence for this. In fact, a scientific report produced by academics from Glasgow University's Biomedical and Life Sciences Department and the Macaulay Land Use Research Institute in Aberdeen concluded there is no compelling evidence base to suggest culling mountain hares might increase red grouse densities. In 2014, the Scottish Government said it was opposed to large-scale culls and called for voluntary restraint. Very clearly, they're being totally ignored. The only rational response is to give these beautiful animals the protection they so urgently need. <laughs> 